Cameron, a uh, team is often um, judged in its growth by how it starts to perform on the road. And the Pirates had a couple of road matches last week, uh, a draw at Whitman and a win at Pacific. Uh, how would you say this team has grown in terms of its ability to perform away from home? Yeah, a lot. Um, it's, been a, it's been a good year. We are arriving to a point now, you know, two maybe three weekends where we would call ourselves more complete version of ourselves and then we keep improving on that. So, yeah, when we look back at Whitman, um, uh, in the end, okay, rivalry, 1-1, one, one, we want more, but uh, another complete performance from us and Whitman has improved so much this year. That was a really fun game. Um, and in the end, the main highlights are we scored an awesome goal, just beautiful soccer creativity from a free kick again uh, and then wow what a finish from Bailey uh, and then Paige Broderick uh, gets to get her first start and then play 90 minutes and wow what a good performance for her in the goal so uh, that was a really really enjoyable thing for the whole team highlighting Paige there uh, the goal that we score and then feeling like another complete performance yeah we wanted two more points out of it especially when we look at the week as a whole um, it, it would have made a, a difference in the in the standings now, um, but uh, but a good game at Whitman, and then Pacific an interesting one, uh, red card yeah twenty minutes into the game, and uh, as I look back when I saw it in the moment uh, I'm really far away from the call, and it looked maybe debatable red card definite penalty debatable red card, uh, as I watched it back our shot was pretty close to goal so it seemed more justified there. And so then it's a unique game. Like, how often do you ever play up a player for 70 minutes? Not very often. But a really mature performance from us. Gosh, we had so much of the ball. So many chances. Yeah, we could have finished a couple more. But in the end, just mature. Like, every moment, hyped up crowd, hyped up bench for our opponent. Home game, trying to make a story on their side of things. And we just handled our business really, really well. So where we're at now is a really fun thing. As we come into our last our last four games, we have a lot to be proud of. In what uh, in what ways has this team improved the most over the last four or five matches? As you as you've seen the results uh, come up on the field. Yeah, the project this year has really been solidifying our competitiveness, our competitive spirit, and that kind of thing. That we um, I haven't figured out a better way to say it yet, but that we're a team who's seen some things. You know, who's been there, done that even when we're early in what I would say our, our project is just season two for me here. So um, in that way, the confidence and belief is deeper down. Uh, we've been talking about it, uh, how to solidify it, but then you need the experiences for it to be real. And now we have more experiences from this season. Um, so really proud of what we've done in, in that way. Um, and yeah, you got to be able to win 1-0 games. Like I said, we could, uh, we could have scored more. But in this way, when you're able to hold the game and dominate the game, even when the team you're playing against has every reason to believe because it's only 1-0, uh, this is really mature as well. So I think yeah, we're, we're becoming a team who's seen some things until I can find a new way to say that. Yeah. Uh, final home weekend of the season uh, coming up, which means senior day on Sunday. So, so talk about uh, the class and kind of oh, what they've meant. Gosh, I could go on and on. But in the end, it boils down to, to each one of these five graduating have done so much to continue to grow our program. Um, as I put it to them, I think we've had about two years of growth, 24 months of growth in the last 12. And I'm super grateful for that because I can talk on a whiteboard on a PowerPoint, in the office, off the field, even on the field about who we are and the culture that we, we want. But it's only real, uh, as real as how it's lived and acted out. And we know, especially in college sport, but in all of sport, that uh, the more experienced ones, uh, they, they carry, well, maybe a burden, but an opportunity in how that uh, culture gets lived and breathed. So. Yeah, for each each and every one of them, the personality they bring, the character they bring, the self, you know, the, the uniqueness of self, identity that they bring to the team is so important. Super proud, super grateful, and excited to celebrate them this weekend. 
this weekend playing uh, Linfield and Willamette, um, teams that we've seen before on the road uh, coming to our place this time. Uh, how are they different now? What can we expect that might be different from when we played them the first time? Yeah, we'll see. Like with Linfield, we saw them organized two different ways. One way at home um, and one way away last year. To totally different and uh, more pressing us at their place and then low block defending when they came here. So uh, with Linfield, I kind of don't know what to expect. we got to be prepared just to problem solve. So we'll do some things to be ready for how they might set up and organize against us based on how they've been going this year. Uh, at their place, oof, the game was called really tight by the referee. So I hope we get to play a little bit more this time. Uh, there were so many fouls called and so many stoppages, it disrupted our flow. So hopefully we can get into our rhythm uh, more, uh, and we're going to do everything we can to, to control what we can control in that way. Uh, and then against Willamette, yeah, uh, they're going to believe in themselves more. They just came off the back of a big UPS win, um, and so uh, they, they'll believe more tangibly in what they're doing. Yeah, their coach Lisa... Um, yeah, she has a vision for that program. She's growing it um, uh, back from, yeah, towards maybe what it has been. And, uh, and so it'll be an exciting match uh, where we get to step in. And every match is unique. So, yeah, we'll ride the, the, the love for our seniors, the uh, emotion that we have there. We'll translate that motion, emotion into energy and go do everything we can in these two matches just to enjoy them and, and get results.